Professional development at DreamYard aims to support teachers in developing skills and experience with integrating the arts into social justice curriculum, to explore strategies for using a social justice lens with the elementary social studies curriculum, and to build a network of teachers in the Bronx Arts Learning Community who collaboratively delve into the intersections of arts and social justice. It's helping sort of change some of the education programs we do around art and technology, um, making them really hands-on, having young people go through the design process and figure out, you know, how does stuff work? How do I build what I want to see in the world? Part of the whole point of us putting together this first Maker Institute was to help DreamYard really crystallize what, what our particular approach is, and that approach is really fueled by both art and social justice. And the way that we sort of figured out how to do that was to use the DreamYard framework, um, which is based in the core values of create, empower, and connect. And under each of those core values, um, there are a series of questions like, who am I? Where am I from? What's my superpower? What's my kryptonite? Who do I admire? We made an interactive map. Um, the theme that we were working with is, where am I from? And people make objects that represent um, their country or a place they feel connected to. And then what they do is they put the object on the map and they pick up a mic and they use to makey makey to sort of work as the key functions. And then when you put the object down, um, you're projected onto the screen and we just interview them about like where they're from and why they made what they made. A lot of what I do and think about is rooted in social justice, culturally based um, projects and like learning opportunities um, and rooting the work that students are making into their own identities and just sort of emphasizing the fact that their lives matter and their stories matter. Social justice and art can be integrated. There's times when you just need to learn skills, um, but you also eventually want to get your young people to make about something, and ideally that would be about themselves or their community. So hopefully they'll walk away with this ability, uh, or at least have worked that muscle out a little bit on how to do that. I think with making, the wow of it is like, not only do I make something cool, but I want to share with you how I did it so you can make your own version, you can remix it, and you can just sort of like interpret this creation in your own way. So I think it really sort of democratizes art making and creation in general, I think it's really cool.